And this is our next week is our last week for the spring session protocol. We will be starting um, our early summer protocol after next week. So we're coming to a close of the spring season. Um, let's start right off with a rotation. So kind of going through spring season is all about lengthening out we talked about, talked about fiddleheads, those beautiful little fiddleheads that bloom into a fern. That's kind of the stage we're in. We're in that fiddlehead, uh, fiddlehead stage where it starts to grow. It's, it's, it's a spiral. When you look at it, every, there's so many spirals in nature. Um, it's a big coil spiral, similar to that picture that I had showed you this morning um, with that coiling up. So it's a, kind of this coiling up uh, feeling and then it starts to bloom, you know, it'll bloom into this beautiful fern. And we want to warm up. So if we're following nature, we're starting slowly to emerge, which means we're warming up our tendons and our ligaments, our fascia. I think a lot of people, we make mistakes as soon as the weather gets warm and we haven't really done anything for the whole winter or the colder months, um, that the body, we could really hurt ourselves if we do aggressive movements too quickly without warming up the fascia and the tendons and the ligaments. So the spring was all about that, coming out of that, uh, the winter months from the meditative months where we worked on the bones and the de bone density, you know, the, the structure of our body and continue your rotation however you wanna move your rotation. Um, <clears throat> and then we come in, so the bones have been strengthened in the winter and then we come into the spring and lengthen the ligaments and the tendons that you know hold the bones together. And then as we do that, then the body is ready for more dynamic movement with the bigger muscle groups. So it's kind of similar to like, if you were gonna hang a swing for your kid outside on a branch or even in the house, if the foundation of the ceiling isn't strong, or if that tree isn't strong enough to hold that weight and hold that rope, and the rope can symbolize, you know, the foundation could be the bones, the rope can symbolize your tendons and fascia. If that's not warmed up and um, moist, you know, and that it can move, that's, you put your kid on, you put weight on it, which would be working with the deeper muscles. If you, when you put weight on in that swing, that thing's gonna break. So it's similar to our bodies. So that's what we're doing in the spring. We're getting some movement in the fascia and the ligaments. So this rotation is just a nice way to ease into this movement in your body, warming up the tendons, the fascia, the ligaments. And then we'll come back to, to center. Um, let's start with our shaking and again, warm up our system. And let's use our purging breath. We're gonna inhale through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth, inhaling through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth, inhaling through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth. And continue with this as you shake because the shaking again is circulation and it brings a lot of moisture again to the ligaments, to the tendons, to the fascia. Um, if we are not circulating, you're not hydrating. And I say this all the time, you can drink all the fluids you want and think you're hydrating, but if you're not moving, it's not gonna do anything. In fact, you're gonna do more harm than good to your body if you're drinking all these fluids and you're not circulating them. It's just a fact, when we get older, the systems slow down. We have to rebuild ourselves. Our building blocks have slowed down. Um, you don't have to worry about this stuff when you're young. You have moisture in your mouth. You circulate. You don't have to think about it. You have all this energy. We have these little bodies. We have all this energy, and we're pink, and we're plump, and we're moist. Then we start to dry out. We don't have to, though, but we have to manually go in and hydrate our system, move our body, and also the other piece is releasing stress out of the system. That's why we don't breathe deep. We hold our breath. We wait to exhale. We're holding everything in the upper chest and it's shallow and it's rapid and we're not getting the full oxygen that we need. So as part as moving the body physically, we also need to release stress out of the system. 
80 percent, 80 to 90 percent of illnesses are from stress, doctors have said. People come in with all kinds of things and it's usually due to stress. So we've got to think about that part as well. That's why slow flow, finding the flow state is really meditative and healthy for the body. And then let's stop and feel that tingling, that vibration. Oh, maybe your breath is deepened a little bit. Let's do a little bit more active movement here. We're going to swing our arms forward and back. You can continue with the purging breath, releasing toxins out of the body. So this whole movement, Qigong, is about movements that release and that open the system, the physical body, releasing nodding, adhesion, tension. And then we can go in and work on maybe strengthening the body or um, um, also creating that flow state. You can't get to a flow state if you're compressed and intense. The flow state only happens when we can release, when we can let go, and when we open up our vessel. Then you can put on the water hose and the water will come flow out very nicely. So continue with this. I'm just gonna mute everyone. Forgot to do that. Getting a little feedback here. <clears throat> And remember to keep breathing, keep doing your purging breath. Real important. Don't want to start your day with um, toxins in your body. You want to release as much as you can. Let's do a little bit of monkey leaves from the tree. Inhale, ha, exhale out. 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 One more inhale, ha, and exhale out. <clears throat> I have a lot of phlegm building up from the, I don't have allergies, but the pollen's really strong right now. So that helps to bring, bring that up for me. Um, let's find our vertical alignment. We start at the feet because we want to be rooted and grounded first before we start our day. If we just walk out through the, out the door, we haven't done anything warm up, haven't even centered ourselves life just kind of happens to you rather than being engaged in it. So real important, we start with the feet because our feet is touching the earth. Mother Earth's below us, it's holding, she's holding us up. But we need to connect with her even deeper. So moving the feet, spreading the feet away from each other like you're spreading the mat between your feet, this will engage your um, arches. And this is where it starts the vertical alignment. It starts at the arches. Arches start to drop like everything else. So we start from the arches lifting up. We're lifting them from the inner edge of the legs right up into engaging the legs, engaging our abdominals, and engaging and lifting all our organs up. This prolapse starts to happen from poor posture, injuries. Um, and we want to keep this lengthened, like that fiddlehead growing, unwinding, spiraling up. Let your shoulders rest towards the back of your body. Drop the chin in slightly so we're not extending our heads too far forward. And then we bend our arms in tree position, soften the knees a bit. And one is fun. We're lifting the corners of the mouth up into that inner smile as we start to drop in dopamine and serotonin into our system. The joy factor. Deep breaths here into your inner smile. And why not start your day with a little bit of joy? And two is shoe, we're bringing the heat to the feet. Three is tree, visualizing roots coming from the bottom of your feet into the crust of the earth. Four is core, we're going below the crust into the center of the earth. There's a biomagnetic field. We are biomagnetic electricity. The earth is biomagnetic. So earth meets human, and then we turn on our power source. So we're plugging in our power source for the day. You know, if you're around young children, they're all energy in small bodies. We get older, we're less energy in bigger bodies. So we wanna tap into this energy source that's free. Tap into it. So you have all the energy you need for the day and knowing when you can tap into it when you're feeling lethargic or need a little extra boost. It's right here, it's right below your feet and above you and around you. 
And then five's alive. We feel this energy moving in. And then we'll release. This also helps to uh, warm you internally. Let's start with the twisting flexion. So now we start with our flexions, four flexions of the spine. Twisting flexion, knocking on the door of life is a great way to twist your spine. You're also getting an extra benefit from this particular one because you're tapping on your kidney point and your liver point. Um, liver and gallbladder are the two organs we work with in the spring that we've been working with. Liver helps to clean the, flu the uh, blood, filters out your blood. The gallbladder helps to, um, has bile and it helps to break down your foods. And then it's a little, little gland that uh, gallbladder fills up with the bile from your liver. The bile is used for eating, digesting. And then that little sac, that little gallbladder shrinks and then it fills up again. So it's a really interesting process, that relationship between the liver and your gallbladder. So this is a great time to do some spring cleaning. Knocking on the door of life is helping you do that. Twist are very cleansing. It's like a sponge being wrung out. We want to spring clean our organs, spring clean your internal system. It's a great time to spring clean your house, you know, get the cobwebs, lots of cobwebs from the winter. <clears throat> and then you can bring that up into the lungs, tapping on the lungs, making this more active, more beneficial. Knocking on the lungs. You can also knock on the back of your shoulders. Waking up the gallbladder, there's a gallbladder meridian there. Also feels good on the shoulders and the neck. And then we'll bring it down again. Twisting, flexion. And then slowly release. Take a deep breath in and out. Let's inhale, let's drop from the earth, gather all around us. Let's exhale with a ah. Let's decompress. Inhale, draw up, gather. Ah. One more, inhale. Draw, gather, release. Ah. Then let's separate our legs. We're gonna bring our hands on our thighs, drop your head forward, shake it out. <clears throat> Open up the back of your body. This is a forward fold. And then we're gonna inhale, we're gonna arch the back into a back bend. Inhale here, take a few breaths here, open up the front of your body. As you exhale, round the spine. Then again, inhale. Exhale, forward flexion. Inhale, back flexion. Exhale, forward flexion, and slowly curl up. One vertebrae at a time. We're gonna reach the arms out to the side, through the fingers, come up onto the toes, drop the heels. We're gonna bring, let's lean over to one side for our side flexion. If you want, take that arm alongside your ear for a deeper side flexion. Release, other side, side flexion. And release, other side again. Side flexion, other side again, side flexion. Let's stretch out again. Let's come up onto the toes. And, and really stretch through the toes, through the fingers, release the heels, slap the hands together. Birds, beaks, out to the side, stretch through the arms, through the palms, through the uh, tops of the hands. But then we push the pillars away, stretching again, softening those knees. Backs of the arms and hands come together. Come up the buttons, feel that stretch in the back of your shoulders. And we start to come forward. We're just taking this into a half forward fold. And then inhale again, offer the fruit. Exhale, clap the hands, crane's beak, stretch through the arms from the shoulders right out through the hands. Exhale, push the pillars away, softening the knees. Backs of the hands, arms come together, up the buttons, start to come forward. Now come into your full, full forward fold if that's comfortable for your back. If you do have high blood pressure or low blood pressure, you always want to be careful with forward folds. You can keep your head above your hips if you do get dizzy from forward folds to prevent that from happening. But again, everybody's body's different, so do what's comfortable for your body. 
Four folds are great. You can release the head here. You can also work on the legs here, bending one knee at a time. As you're doing this though, when you bend one knee at a time, so I'm bending my right knee. So I'm gonna bring the weight on the outer edge of my left foot to open up my arches again, to open up my inner uh, legs, all the tendons and ligaments in my inner leg. And I also feel this on my outer leg as well. So we're going back and forth, working on stretching, more, you know, the body's warmed up now so we can go in and stretch maybe a little bit deeper. It should feel yummy when you do this. If it hurts, you're going too far. Pain is not a good indication. <laughs> we don't want to add pain. We want to feel and aware, be very aware of how this, this movement feels in your body, all the movements, how all the movements feel in your body. And then slowly curl up stacking each vertebrae on top of each other as we come back up to standing. Let's bring the legs together. Let's bring the palms of the hands together. Find your vertical alignment again. You're rooted, you're lengthened, the lower body is grounded, your upper body's gonna move here. So we're gonna bring our hands over to our left. The head comes to the right. So you can also have your uh, right hip moving forward a little bit for a little bit of a twist here. This is also a crossover, good for the neck. We come back to center. Crossovers are good for our brain. Other side, feeling this stretch, that left hip move it forward so you get a little bit more of a, of a rotation, um, sort of a twist in the spine. And then we come back to center, other side. Back and forth. So we're just gonna go back and forth with this movement. This is, these aren't flexions, these are just directional movements. So these are crossover movements. And then we're gonna go into more of a uh, figure eight movement. Or coiling, it's more, if you wanna coil it more than you would coil up this way. All the way up, all the way down. And then go back into the figure eight movement. So these two, you know, these movements, again, do them slow. Notice where you're feeling them in your body. And then we'll separate the legs. And then we can go a little bit deeper, a little bit lower, a little bit bigger, maybe. So there's the figure eight. Maybe take this figure eight all the way up, all the way down. And then if you want to do more of a coiling, then coil up. and find your breath, breathe through this because you're doing a lot of opening here. Now, once we get to the top here, interlace the fingers, pointers pointing up. And we're gonna do a rotation here because I want you to feel this more in the thoracic spine. The thoracic spine is a hard area to reach. By doing this, you get right into that thoracic spine. And then take it to the other direction. Now let's come up onto the toes and stretch. And then release, bring the hands to the hips and let's do a lower back rotation. And feel that in the ribs. You can really feel that in the, in the entire rib cage. That's where you wanna feel, open that up. That gets really tight and compressed and then it, it restricts our, our breathing. So we're opening up this whole region of our body. And then let's come into our deer posture. Antlers right to the gallbladder and ready. Inhale, reach up, stretch up, let that fiddle head starting to come out. It's gonna grow into a fern. And then exhale, we bring the arms down. If you want more of a dynamic, um, when you come down this time, shift into the heels, but maybe come down a little bit further. Really use those thigh muscles. So again, we're starting to work um, some of the bigger muscles in the body. Our foundation's really strong. We've been working on the bone density, stretching the ligaments, the ropes to the swing. And then when we put weight on that swing, when we do more weight bearing exercises, then the body won't tear, we won't tear anything. So inhale, the liver goes up, gallbladder dra uh, drains down. 
liver energy goes up, gallbladder energy goes down. So we're also doing that. And then if you want to jump and add a jump to it, jumping is a really nice thing to do ever so often. Reawaken that feeling of jumping. We never jump. It's a good time to jump. And then we'll do one more. And release. Check in with yourself. How are you feeling? My heart rate, I can really feel my heart beating. So maybe just listen, feel your heart. We elevated the heart rate, which is good for the rest of the day. It helps with metabolism. It's a muscle, the heart's a muscle, and we do need to strengthen it as well. My daughter lives on the fourth floor and I often take the steps. And by the second level, I'm exhausted, <laughs> I have to stop. So that's not good. So I've been trying to up it a little bit every time I go there, maybe to the third floor and then stop. When I make it to the fourth floor without stopping, I know I've done a good thing, that I've strengthened my heart muscle. All right, so let's do bamboo sways in the wind. Again, release some of that congestion you might be feeling. And then let's come into our horse stance. So the heels come together, then release the heels. The feet come out, the heels come out. So this might be your horse stance. And you'll notice this as we work with this, if you want to lengthen the legs a little bit more. For me, this is a good stance. So we bend our knees and you want to be able to see your toes. You want to tuck that tailbone in. And we're activating these thigh muscles. Let's bring our hands here. And then we inhale, straighten up. Palms and the hands come together and we slide down, horse stance. Inhaling and exhaling. So we're putting a little strain on the legs. Let's hold this here for a few seconds. Shift into your heels, the weights on the heels to protect your knees. And the more often you do this, you're gonna notice it's more comfortable. You might notice yourself bending a little bit more. Okay, except be careful. You, if you can't see your toes, you're leaning too far forward. You wanna be able to see your toes. So this is really good for strengthening the knees, the thigh muscles, the, the ankles, the feet. <clears throat> and then straighten the legs. Let's make fists with the hands. Left arm is straight out in front. Right is underneath. We twist, we scrub. We come together, we turn, we scrub. Come together, turn, and now horse stance and scrub. Inhale up and scrub. Inhale up and scrub. King rides his horse with fiery eyes and scrub. Inhale up and scrub. Inhale up and scrub. One more time, inhale up and scrub. And then one more time, inhale up and then scrub. And then we'll release. King draws its sword. Keep turning the gaze over to your right. Look down at your right foot. Look up at the ceiling. And then a little bit of a twist. Back to center. King draws its sword. Gaze comes over to the left. Look down at your left foot. Look up at the ceiling. A little bit of a twist then release. Come back to vertical alignment. Let's warm up our hands, even your interlacing your fingers and scrubbing, scrubbing the knuckles, scrubbing your fingernails, and then notice if you can feel the energy between your palms. This is called working in the chi ball, this energy ball. I can feel a lot of energy between my palms. If you can't, that's okay. It comes with practice. But we're gonna take this, this energy ball and we're gonna expand it. As we inhale, fill yourself up with breath also. And as you exhale, compress. Compress the breath, compress the ball. Inhale, fill your vessel with 
breath. Expand your body, the front, the back, the side of the body. And as you exhale, compress, let all the air out. The ball is smaller. Inhale, feel your whole body like that picture we saw this morning. Just fill it up. Fill your vessel up with energy all around you, below you, and in you. And as you exhale, compress, let go. Let go. Inhaling. Fill your vessel up with this energy. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. And then release. Let's take this ball. We're going to reach it up. Take the ball up. And bring it forward into a big ball, round circle. This big ball, we're lifting it up. As we inhale, bring the tongue to the roof of your mouth. As you exhale, release the tongue from the roof of the mouth, taking this ball down. Inhale, tongue to the roof of the mouth, bring the ball up. Exhale, release the tongue from the roof of the mouth as you bring the ball down. Inhale, tongue to the roof of the mouth, lift the ball up. And exhale, release the ball down, release the tongue. And just notice how you feel. We're going to go right into standing on a boat, forward and back. We're going to open the flow now. We're going to find that flow state. So just simply rocking on the ball mounts of the feet, shift into the heels. Shift forward on the ball mounts of the feet, shift into the heels. Our next one, we're going to inhale, we're going to rise the arms up, shift into the heels, exhale, rise, bring the arms down. This time we inhale, lift the arms up, exhale, shift into the heels as you exhale. And then this time we're going to inhale, we're going to push the energy away. We're going to gather the energy all around us. We're going to scoop down and scoop the earth energy into our arms and hands. And then taking this energy and we bring it down our entire body. So we took that earth energy and we're washing it down back into the earth. Inhale, rise. Exhale, shift down. Inhale, push away. Inhaling all around you, scooping up the earth energy, lifting it up, and bringing it down our entire body back into the earth. Inhaling, rise up, shift back. Inhale, push away, gather all around you, scoop up the earth, draw it up, and bring it down your entire body, this earth energy. So let's go with the flow here. Let your breath take you to where it needs to go in this movement. Push away, gather all around, gather the earth, lift the earth, and down our body. Inhaling, lifting up, and down, and then we move away, we gather all around, scoop up the earth, Lift up the earth energy and wash it down. Inhaling, push away all around, scoop up and wash it down. Inhaling, push away, all around, scoop up the earth, Mother Earth, and let it wash down, cleaning you out, back into the earth. Inhaling, push away, as you exhale, inhale all around, Gather the earth, and then exhale, release. 
Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling all around. Gather the earth as you inhale. And exhale, release. Inhaling. Push away as you exhale. Inhaling, gather around. Scoop up the earth as you inhale. And exhale, wash down. Inhaling. Push away as you exhale. Inhaling, gathering all around you, gathering the earth. Inhaling and exhaling, wash away. Find your rhythm with this flow. Let's do one more. Make it your own. And when you're ready, come back into your tree posture. Feel the vibration. Find that flow state deep inside yourself. It's everything flowing smoothly and effortlessly. Is there an ease? And let's cross over our arms as we protect ourselves. I am protected and safe, rooted down like a tree, so I can grow up and go with the flow. And let's bring the palms of the hands together, symbolizing this union of our mind, of our body, of our energy, opening the pans into that bloom, into that lotus bloom, awakening to our inner light, our higher vibration. Set an intention for your day. Today, I invite into my life, whatever that is for you. Maybe it's opening to your bloom. Maybe it's opening to your higher vibration. And then close the, the flower, protecting that inner light source. We'll transition back to our seat to integrate this practice, noticing what it brought for you on a physical level, emotional and energy level. What did it bring for you? Notice that, how it feels. We'll enter three rounds of OM. First OM is for 
creating peace within ourselves as we take a deep breath in. Second ohm is for community, inhaling. And the third is for the world, inhaling. Feeling that sound of peace vibrating through your whole body, mind. We'll bring the hands together one more time as we seal our practice and letting it bring for you whatever you need today. And when you feel ready, begin to slowly open your eyes as we move into the next moment and the next breath of our life. Thank you for joining me this morning and namaste to all.